London. Plenty of room at the top in the swinging city. A city where fashion, too, finds room at the top of some of the world's most glamorous women. It's autumn fashion time for designers of the Millinery Institute of Great Britain. And as the creators of these ultra-feminine flights of fancy say, autumn is the season of subtle change from golden summer to the darker days of winter, when gay hats provide an extra tonic. Well, OK. Let's get a head start on the coming winter scene with a preview high up at the Carlton Tower Hotel. Elegant shapes to frame the face are what the designers aim at. This is Moonshiner, put you in mind of Dick Turpin, but hardly robbery at under two pounds. Battersea Power Station makes quite a contrast to this beauty. The hat, that is. It's called Blindborn. There's enough power here to turn any head. Maureen's the girl, coach and horses the hat. Again, the creation costs less than two pounds. Hey, wake up. Seems a pity to spoil the mood brought on by Leafy Glade. It's a dream at just over six pounds. South Sea Bubble, very feminine. Just a thing to bring thoughts of palm trees, sunshine and golden beaches. Agree, fellas? How about that brim? A bit more expensive at eight pounds plus. Brandy snap. Sunny London, but winter's coming. You can't get away from it. But if the girls are going to look like this, any cold snap will certainly be much warmer. Hat, cravat and muff, entitled Lara, 22 quid a lot. Very encouraging prospects for the coming months. Ladies, you can't fool the men. The days when hats were for keeping heads warm are long gone. Hat fashions now do more to keep we men hot under the collar. That's what they're drinking to. I'll drink to that too.